This is going to be a very quick one. Um, this is the insides of a Browning Golden Eagle Mark IV A transmitter that I was going to take to Dayton. Um, Hamvention that I just came back from. Um, but what happened was I fired it up to test it uh, before I was going to, you know, wrap it up and take it to the um, Hamvention swap. And it didn't work right. It had um, some issues going on. And um, um, I have, may have done. A video on this already but uh, one of the problems with putting tubes on circuit boards is cold solder joints and what I found on this one is exactly that um, it's on this board I'm pointing at and can you see it I said I was gonna make it quick I didn't see it you know looking at it but I was gonna recap it since I'm back for Dayton and you know once I recap it I was gonna see if I can you know trace down what's wrong with it and as I was recapping it and I was gonna pull off this guy here that's a positive end of a cap and that's a negative and I got an alligator clip on there if I can reach it uh, there you are you can kind of see it now that's the negative end of ground of the electrolytic capacitor not even a tube um, you know tubes get real hot and you get um, a lot of um, cold solder joints at the tube because of the heat and the expanding and contraction of the circuit board but this is um, one of the filter capacitors on the transmitter of this Mark 4A so I just wanted to show that and um, you know one of the first things I do is recap and then you know a lot of times on the tube sockets themselves on a circuit board tube radio I re um, resolder the um, connections on the circuit board to prevent you know stuff like that so you know watch your tubes watch your solder joints watch your connections a big problem with um, um, radios tube radios where you mount the tubes on the circuit board a lot of times the circuit boards just can't handle the the vibration and the heat of the tubes even with that said though the mark 4a which this one is here is um one of my all-time favorite radios um, the Mark IV A works has a good PLL in it, a common PLL, where well, the Mark IV had an early discrete transistor type PLL and it had um, a lot of problems alright, said I'd be quick so that's it for this one, bye